Let's see how we can convert these two repeating decimal numbers to decimals. Let's see how we can repeat these two decimal. Let's see how we can repeat these two decimal num. Let's see how we can repeat these two repeating decimal numbers to fractions. For the first one, we have 0.012, but the bar is over all these three digits. And for the second one, we see that the bar is only over the 1 and 2. So let's take a look at the first one. Because the bar is over these three digits, so this means we have 0, point, and then you just write down these three numbers you know, over and over. So we have 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, and so on, so on, so on. All right, that's the idea. So how can we convert this into a fraction? This is actually not so bad. You see that all these three digits are repeating, so all we have to do is just write down these numbers, which is 0, 1, 2. But really, this is just 12, so you don't have to write down this 0, just write down 12. And then divide it by 3 9 so just divide it by 9, 9, 9. Why 3 9 Because we have 3 of this, right? 3 digits, 1, 2, 3, so you just divide it by 3 9 okay? So, how can we continue? Can we reduce this? Yes, 12 over 999, we can reduce this by 3. So let's go ahead and divide this by 3 on the top and also on the bottom. And we see 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. 999 divided by 3 is 333. And then we are done. For that question, we still have to do this one though. Hmm. This time the bar is only for the 1 and 2. So this means we have 0, 0, and then the 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2 will be repeating like so. So this and that are very different numbers. How can we get a fraction version of this? Well, the beauty of this is that the beauty of this is that the bar is right after the decimal point, right? So imagine the following. If we only have 0 0.12, right? You see, I didn't have this zero here. If we only have this with the bar over, we can just write this down as 12 over 99. And then we can reduce this and we will get 4 over 33. No problem on this. But we do have this addition zero, right? Additional zero. So what do we do? Well, when you want to move the 1 and 2 to the next place, that means you divide it by 10. Because you see, this 1 here is in the 10th place. But this 1 here is in the 100th place. So it's uh, you divide it by 10. So what we can do is, we can actually just look at this and then divide it by 10. So I will multiply by 1 over 10, like so. Divide it by 10. Right? So with that being said, we can see that 0. 0 and then 1, 2 like this, and then with the bar, this is really the same as just 1, 2 over 99, but then we divide it by the 10, so we will have to put on another 0 like that. So that's pretty much the idea. So this one, perhaps the quick way to do this is, you see that you have two zeros here, I mean two numbers here that's repeating, so just put on 12, so that's the 12 here. And then you divide it by, instead of 999, you divide it by 99 with a 0. So 99 is for the 1 and 2. And then one more 0 is because of the divided by 10. So you divide it by 990. So that's the biggest difference. So just take a look right here. All right. And then you ask yourself, can you reduce this? And the answer is yes. How? Divide this by, we can do it by 3 first like what we did earlier, and that will give us 4 over 330. And in fact, we can keep going. We can divide this by 2. So let's divide it by 2. And uh, we will get 2 over 165, I believe. Yep. So the answer is just 2 over 165. So two very different numbers with two very different results. But again, when these three digits are repeating, divided by 999. If you only have two digits repeating, divided by 99. But if you have this zero here, just put a zero here. That's the easy way to remember. So hopefully this right here helps. That's it.